Hey guys, ADHD here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this awesome creeper coffee house. This thing is freaking awesome. This is a creeper coffee cup. And the reason why I made this house is actually because I actually have a creeper coffee mug, and I was looking at it, I'm drinking my coffee, and I'm like, hey, you know, it'd be cool if I built it. So I built it right here, guys. We're going to get started with it right now and be showing you guys how to build this block for block in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need only a few items, actually. It's super, super easy build. So all we're going to need is lime green concrete, black concrete, brown concrete, stone, polished adesite, and also cobweb. And all right, guys, so we're going to get started right now. What we're going to do is we're going to do a straight row to the right using lime concrete. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So it's going to be a total of 18 blocks with lime concrete again, guys. So here we go. Ready? It's going to be one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Just a straight row of 18 just like that. Then the next row, you're going to do the same thing just like that right on top of it. Two rows of 18 just like that. So two rows, guys, like I said, do not forget that. So we're going to get started on the next row where we're going to start doing the actual design of the creeper space. And then as we, after we get done with that, we're just doing pretty much walls. It's super easy, guys, like I said. But let's get started on this creeper face. So all we're going to do is you're going to do five lime concrete to the right. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to leave a spacing of two blocks. Then you're going to do four concrete. One, two, three, four. Then a spacing of two blocks. Then you're going to do another five concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And the next row, you're going to do the exact same thing. So literally replicate that on the fourth row right here. Just like this. Boom. Okay. So now we're going to start getting up to the other bigger part of the creeper's mouth. Like right there, that little area. So it's going to be a bigger space right here. But it's pretty much the same exact thing we've been doing. So again, five blocks of concrete right here. Yellow, uh, lime concrete. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to leave a space of a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can just count right here. It's another five, just like that. So one, two, three, four, five. So now you're going to do that exact same thing, guys, three more times. I repeat, three more times. So just do everything three more times. That's one. Oh, that leaves that the same. Sorry. <laughs> two. Oh, it's just one. One. Sorry. I might have messed up right here. One. Then two. Then one more, making it three rows of the exact same thing. Three. All right. Almost done here. And boom. So now things are going to change up a little bit here on this next row. So it should look like this. You should just basically have what we had here. And then from here, it should be four rows of five on both sides, essentially. And then on this side over here, it's going to be a straight row again. But we're going to be going a little further this time. It's going to be a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five six and seven then what I want you guys to do is come to the left side or right side I'm sorry and do the same thing one one two three four five six and seven just like that next row the exact same thing so one two three four five six seven over here one two three four five six seven just like that next row we're gonna do the eyes the things are a little bit different here so how we're gonna do this row is we're gonna do three lime concrete one two three a space of four, one, two, three, four. And then we're actually gonna place blocks over here in this gap right here, guys, a total of four. So one, two, three, four. And then I leave another space, guys, of four. One, two, three, four. And then do three right here at the end. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay. And now we're gonna do guys do that exact same thing three more times. So one, two, three. Then over here, one, two, three then over here as well one two three and then you're just to do is go from the left side to the right side with a straight row of lime concrete just like this all the way to get to this side then the next row is the same thing like that right on top of it and boom just like that so that is our front right there and now all we're gonna do is get our black concrete and what you're going to do is you're going to go on this side of it and you're just going to fill in right where the empty spot is. So you see all this emptiness right here, guys. You're just going to replace that with black concrete, but one row behind it, just like this. That's just going to give it that 3D effect to it. So just fill this in with your black concrete. But again, guys, make sure it's one block behind right here. So 
So I'm gonna fill this in right here. Normally I skip ahead for this, but this video is gonna be so short, which is, you know, it's not really that short, but it's short for me. Most of my videos are like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but <laughs> this one's kind of short. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with you guys. Normally like I said I'd skip ahead for this, but let's just go ahead and do it to you guys as we have the time. <laughs> so let's fill this in, as eyes as well. And like I said, this is just to give it a little bit more detail and give it a little bit of a cool 3D effect. You can change the colors if you want to, but you know, it would really look like a creeper. But yellow would cool, like a sprite creeper. I don't know why that would be cool to me. <laughs> so, close that up right there. And boom, right there. That's our creeper face. And like I said, once we get done with that, we're just making walls pretty much. Adding a handle, throwing a spoon in there, and putting some smoke. So, let's go ahead and do the walls. Okay, guys. So, what you're going to do now is literally all we're going to do, like I said, is make walls. What you're going to do is come to this bottom right here. You're going to go all the way to the back on the bottom right corner here. All the way to the back, a total of 17 blocks. So, go ahead and do it with me, guys. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Then do the same thing over here on this side, guys, the left side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Make sure it matches those that side over there, which it does, which is awesome. So now what we're going to do, guys, is go to the top corners do the same thing. Go ahead and count them out. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Same thing over here, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now go ahead and connect the bottom and the top together, just like this, guys. Go ahead and connect this one to this one. And then I'm going to connect this one to this one over here just like that connect the bottom to the top right here we're just basically making it into one big cube just to get it out of the way so now we're going to connect the bottom as well and now once we've done this guys this is the time consuming part but not hard at all you're going to go ahead and just get the lime green concrete and fill in all the sides so you're going to fill in the right side the back and the left side but we're going to leave our top blank because that's where we're going to add our coffee later so you're going to leave this blank but on the sides go ahead and fill this in Right now, I am going to skip ahead in the video, but go ahead and pause the video right now and fill in the sides. All right, guys. Then next, what you're going to go ahead and do is get out your brown concrete. Now we got to make some coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top here, and we're going to go just one block below the top. And now you're just going to fill this in with brown concrete, because this is all we're going to be using for our coffee here, or your chocolate milk, or your hot cocoa, whichever you want it to be. So now we're going to go and fill this in, guys. So again, I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to pause the video. Go ahead and pause the video right now. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and fill this in right now, guys. All right, guys, so we went ahead and added the coffee, which is awesome. So now we have to add the handle and the spoon, and we're almost done here. So what we're going to do is come to this right corner right here, and you're going to go ahead and go down a total of three blocks. One, two, three. And on this row here, you're going to go back a total of eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And from this eighth block, I want you guys to do a row of four still going back, so we'll, with the green concrete as well. So one, two, three, four. And make sure that's centered with the rest of the build, which it is. So it's perfect. Now what you're going to do, guys, you're just going to take this out to about five more rows just like that. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I want you guys to do that one more time right below that. Do a second row of it. So just basically du double up everything to make the, you know, the handle on the mug a little bit thicker. So just like this. And then just follow this suit straight down to the ground. And the same thing, make sure you're two blocks off from the bottom. We're just gonna make the bottom part of the handle so we can just connect them. So just make sure that you are two blocks off from the bottom of the floor. And then make sure you just line it up with that one up there. So I see that one's lined up perfectly right here. Make sure we're two blocks off. And we're gonna do our same row right here. And we're just gonna take this all the way back, a total of six as well. It's three, four, five, and six. So now we have this one down here as well. And then we're going to do one more on top of that one, the same way the one up there is, which is a double layer it. So we're going to do it on top this time, because if we go down, we're going to be too low to the ground. So we have to go up. And then once you've done that, you're just going to take two rows, and you're just going to connect it just like this to the top piece. And then boom, now we're working on our mug now, or our handle. So now you're just going to double that up as well on all these ones right here. And then you have our handle. Like I said, guys, this is probably one of the easiest builds we've done in a while. And I think it looks really, really cool, too. And it's really, like, you know, it would be cool to make it as, like, a cafe in Minecraft. I mean, it's designed to be a house, but 
you could easily turn this into like your local Minecraft cafe or something like that. I think it looks really cool. Okay, so now that we have that out the way, let's go ahead and add the spoon. So for the spoon, all we're going to do is we're going to come to this back right corner right here. And we're going to go to the left, a total of three blocks. One, two, three. And right here on the fourth block, you're going to get out our polish out of sight and our stone. It's going to go to the left, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight. And now what we're going to be doing, guys, we're going to be working right to left like we always do. It's just for that we were trying to find the exact spot. So we have this right now. And right here on this stone, you're going to do one polish out of sight, then one stone, then one polish out of sight. Next row, same thing, starting on the stone, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight. Next row, same exact thing, starting with stone, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight. Next row is a little bit different, it's going to be starting here on polish out of sight actually. One stone, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight, then one stone. Next row is going to be the same thing, we're going to start here on this polish out of sight. One stone, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight and then one stone to finish that row up. Next row, the exact same thing, but a little bit a little bit different to be shorter. So we're starting this polish out of sight. It's to be one stone, one polish out of sight, one stone, one polish out of sight. And the final row is going to be starting on the polish out of sight again. It's to be one stone, one polish out of sight, just like that. Okay, guys, so for the next part, we're going to add the smoke. And I don't think my smoke looks that good, to be honest. But you can go ahead and try and copy me if you want to. But I think it definitely could be done better. It's kind of hard to do that in Minecraft. And all I did, basically, was to find the center. All I have to do is find this handle right here, which we know is centered. Pick these two center blocks here. And from the inside area, count a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So then this, this block and this block right here should be our center. Let me make sure that is. And it is. And you guys always wonder, like, how I know that. Like, if I just, you know, like, just memorize every single thing as I play. Uh, that is partially part of it. But also, because I know that this is 18 wide, we have one row right there, one row right there. So, subtract 2, that equals 16. And then go ahead and just count half of this. Half of 16 is 8. So, all we have to do is center it and then count to 8, basically, to find our center point. Math ADHD. <laughs> I'm just, you know, that's how you play Minecraft for so long. So, once you found the center... All I did was made it make the center about six blocks wide, and then I took the cobweb all the way up, and this row right here, and then I kind of made a design. I removed all these ones right here, and then I just kind of made a design that I thought kind of looked like, you know, smoky a little bit. So I just kind of did something like this, and like I said, it doesn't really look that great if you ask me, um, but if you want to go ahead and replicate it, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I tried everything. I tried using like glass i tried using everything it's just really hard to make a good looking like uh smoke in this game but it, it's you know hopefully one day they add some kind of update where there's like more smoke options because i think it would be cool if we had more smoke options <laughs> and then right here do the same thing just take this up to get the same height and as you guys can see sorry i'm just replicating what we were doing right here and this is not honestly even worse than the one over there but this is roughly what i did you just kind of have to adjust them moving more to the left more to the right that kind of stuff just like this but that's what I'm doing and I'm not probably gonna elaborate on that too much because it, I don't really think it looks that good to be honest and I'm sure there's a better way to do it but that's kind of what it looks like right there. I mean it doesn't look bad it looks like some smoke but I think that could be spaced out a little bit more like those ones but if you space them out too much they look weird I don't know but <laughs> that is the actual coffee mug part of the house I think that part looks absolutely amazing if you guys want to see some kind of cafe turned into this, let me know. Maybe I can do a tutorial on turning this into a cafe. But all you have to do is, you guys know how to make a house. I mean, I'm not doing it. This isn't an inter interior tutorial. But it's pretty easy to just turn this thing into a house if you wanted to. I'm trying to find the potions real quick. It's like there's a night vision on here. Just like they guys know how I like my night vision potions in every video. <laughs> so there is a lot of room in here easily this is a three to four story house in minecraft and you can even make the roof a freaking like story if you wanted to actually so it's an awesome house and like i said if you wanted to turn it into a cafe that'd be really cool too so that is actually it guys if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe i actually have a full-blown creeper house that i built on the channel as well as long as a spider house all types of crazy stuff as you can see around here so make sure you guys check that stuff out if you haven't already but anyway guys as always i'll see you in the next video adios